Hey guys, Art and Whimsy here today to share with you what I'm doing with my April Coco Daisy kit, Up, Up and Away. So I know that a lot of people don't have, you know, outside activities right now, don't have activities outside of the home. So we're a little bit limited on what we can do with our planner kit. So what I'd like to share with you today are some things that I've done with my kit. Now I do still go out of the house for work. I have no choice at this point. But, um, so I am still using my planner to plan. However, uh, I don't have all that many activities to add in there. I mean, it's basically work to home, home to work, the occasional trip to the grocery store. So that's pretty much it. So I have gotten creative in finding other things to do with my kits. One of the things that I've done is create um, tags just like these. Now these tags are great for putting in an envelope and sending out for some happy mail. You can tuck them right into the pockets of your planner, your journals, your memory keeping albums, or whatever. Um, and I used uh, an A5 dashboard from the Coco Daisy kit and ran it through my die cutting machine with a tag shaped die to get this, um, to make these tags. So I've done two here. There's nothing on the back, but you can write on the back, you know, write a nice note, you can decorate them. And then I just added some of my hand dyed ribbon here to give it a little bit more color. So that's something that you can do with your kits and your paper that comes in your kit. I also made an assortment of smaller tags like these that are great for slipping in pockets, um, adding into happy mail, or just keeping in your stash for future use. So these are really great too. You can also make, you know, these types of tags that are great for like memory keeping, um, uh, journaling in your journal, your art journal, or your planner. So there are quite a few things that you can use that paper, even your paper, your paper trimmings for, as well as other components in your kit. So just to give you an idea, I don't waste any of my Coco Daisy paper. So this is a piece of paper that I had left over for making something else with my kit. And I, you can see I cut a tag out of here. I cut a memory dex card and I'll get into that in a bit. I made some other tags. And so here's another example. I really try not to waste anything. One, the paper is beautiful. And two, I mean, you know, why let it go to waste? It doesn't do us any good to just have it sitting in our stash. So I am really trying to make an effort to use as much of my kit as I can. So that gives you an idea as far as that goes. Now, so today I just wanna share with you a couple of other ways that you can use your kit right now without a lot of planning to do. So I'm not gonna make the projects with you too much. I'll just give you a basic idea of how they're made. Um, today's uh, video is more about just giving you some ideas. So the other day on Facebook, I took part um, in a challenge. It was, it was about um, paper crafting or pocket crafting. And um, I, I co-hosted the event and we spent the day just sharing different projects that we can make with our kit. This is one of the items that I shared that day. This is a pocket letter. So for those of you who aren't familiar with it, it's you use a um, a trading card sleeve, like a baseball card type of sleeve. So it's a, it's a plastic sleeve and it's got what nine pockets in it. And you make it by decorating, you know, cutting your paper down to fit these nine pockets and then decorating each one. Now the great thing is that there are communities on Facebook and online where you can meet other people and trade these pocket letters. I love that they will just fold up like this and they fit right into an envelope. And then what I do is I, um, I decorate the envelope just for an added little bit of color. So then this guy will fit right in here. Depending on what you put in your pockets, you know, and how heavy and how thick you make it, that's going to that's gonna depend on how much postage you need. I tend to make mine on the heavier side because I add a lot of different things. So you'll, you'll you know, I do add extra postage, but that's going to be up to you. But I just wanted to give you an idea of what I do. So here I used some of the um, pennant stickers from the April Coco Daisy kit and I made a little banner. I attached it here. So I've added washi that came in the April kit 
here and here. And then I just shopped my own stash for different little things that I had available that I could attach to these little cards that include in the pocket. These little stickers here are also from the um, April Coco Daisy kit. So I included some of those. Um, there's a tag from the kit and of course the paper as well as some die cuts. Now these are a couple of things that I had in my own stash that I added here as well. And then you can either choose to decorate the back or not. What I've done is I've um, stamped uh, the back. It says Happy Mail from Art and Whimsy. You can put a packet of tea back here, a note, and you just fold it up and put it right in the back of this pocket here. So, um, this is always a really nice way to use up, you know, components of your kit. Paper um, and extra die cuts and little bits. It's a really fun way to brighten someone's day. And then again here, I added some uh, hand-dyed ribbon and some of this twine that came in the kit. So that was really fun. So if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm going to tell you about a giveaway that I'm doing in which I'm going to send this one and one other pocket letter out to a couple of lucky winners. So stay tuned for that. Um, just a little bit more on the envelope. Here I used some gelatos. And you can, you know, pretty much use anything you want to decorate your envelope. I just happen to have a lot of art supplies. So I used gelatos. I ran them ar around the, um, the envelope and then I blended them just with my finger. And I added a bit of stamping. You can do hand doodling. You can add stickers or whatever it is you'd like. Just to give that envelope a pop of color. It's always nice to find something fun in your mail besides, you know, bills. So that's fun. So what I want to do today is show you this pocket letter that I've already started. I've started this one and I've, I've intentionally left these two squares blank because I'm going to show you how we can use something with a photo or a picture or an image and have this spread across these two pockets. So for the purposes of this project, I'm going to use a Coco Daisy A5 dashboard that came in the kit. Okay. Um, the other pockets are already decorated. I've cut the squares down to two and a half by three and a half, which is what fits in these pockets. And I've already decorated them. So you can see here, I used some of the Coco Daisy. Um, I don't know if it was paper or a dash. Yeah, it was paper. And I cut the image, splitting it in two, just like I'm going to show you here. I added some die cuts, um, some more washi, a couple of clips from my own stash, some flare, uh, some more washi, and some of these little tags that I cut with, um, with my die cut machine and another clip. This one as well is stamped on the back. So I will add a note in here and I may or may not add a few goodies in the back. And this one here, once it's done, will also be part of that giveaway. So for now, I'm going to try to show you here how I um, cut this down to fit it between two of the pockets. Now, it's a little, it's, it's going to be a little tricky for me to work here on camera only because sometimes, um, well, you know, things don't always go as planned, but let's give it a shot. So I am going to take my paper trimmer. I'm going to set the pocket letter aside for now. And I'm going to trim it down to where I believe I need it. So a good tip is to take your image that you want to trim down. Now you can do this with a photo. You can do it with um, a stamped image. Any Anything you want to put in here. You know, in this case, like I said, I'm using a dashboard. And I just place it behind. So it kind of gives you a visual. You block this part out, right? And it gives you a visual of what it's going to look like in your pocket. So I kind of have a rough idea of how I'm going to cut that. So let's see if I can successfully do that without messing it up. Now, mind you, it doesn't always work out, but we make do. So I'm gonna trim that down now. It gives me at least a little bit better idea here to know whether or not I'm kind of in the right ballpark. But I wanna be sure that I keep this writing in and um, I think, yeah, I can even kind of match up these clouds here, if you can see that. So the clouds on this page here kind of continue on and it allows them to kind of connect here in a way. So you'll see um, 
if I can if I can manage to pull that off or not. So let's see here. All right, so we know that it needs to be three and a half inches tall. So let's start there. All right. And we know that each pocket needs to be two and a half inches wide. Did I mess this up already? No, I'm good. Okay. So I'm going to try to see if I can split that in between some letters so that I can still pretty much make out what the writing says. Um, let's see if I can manage to do that. Let's try. Hopefully this will work. Now there have been times where I, I'm, I'm spaced out or I don't know what happens and I kind of mess up the measurements and you know, you just kind of deal with it and move on. Um, but hopefully, hopefully I've got it right this time. So let's see. Okay, there's one. Here's the other. Okay. So now you can see, of course, there's going to be a split here, but you can, you can still make out. It says, remember to keep your head in the clouds. So that's fun. I like that. I like how it turned out. Okay. So now at this point, we can either choose to decorate these pockets um, with, you know, add some, some, clips or whatnot and I really don't want to obstruct the image too much but let's see so now I told you that we can add um, die cuts and different tags and things from um, the Coco Daisy kits uh, things that you might have in your stash here are a few things that I have in my own stash so let's see what I can add maybe that camera and well I try, if I add something like this, I try to add two just for balance like I did in this pocket letter here. You can also see here, this pocket letter, in order to get this die cut of this rainbow, um, what I did was I trimmed the die cut and part of the die cut is inside on the card. And the other part, these edges, are affixed to the outside of the sheet protector so that it still kind of looks like it goes together, um, but it allows me to extend beyond the size of the pocket. So that's another little tip. Okay, so I think for this one, I'm gonna keep it simple and maybe just include a couple of clips here for them to use, the recipient to use. Okay, so there's one. Let's see if I can add two on here. Well, there's two. You can get it in this pocket. And it's okay if you add things that are a little, you know, a little bit bulky. You don't want to get too crazy, but a little bulky is okay. And it's fun for the recipient to be able to pull off the clips or whatever you add or the washi and, um, and use it. So that's always a lot of fun. Now, one thing I want to share with you is the washi here. I'm going to show you um, what I use for that. Okay, I use these, I think they're called bobbins. And they're flat little um, plastic bobbins. I believe that's what they're called. And I just take the washi, I stretch it around, uh, you know, I pull it out, and then I just wrap it around one of these. Um, I'll give you a closer look here. And then I just affix it to the card with uh, a, like a, some glue or some sort of adhesive. And then here, I cut little tiny tags and it just tucked them right in behind here. So both of these pocket letters have a little bit of um, washi or washi samples from 
all of the all of the rolls that came in the kit so that's really fun I like to do that let's see I don't know well we can add this little guy in here maybe let's see if that'll still fold one thing you just want to be conscious of is whether or not your your now that's not going to fold so I'm going to take that out you want to be careful of whether or not things are going to um be able to fold because the whole point is to get this to fold down and fit in an envelope right so i think we're good i really don't want to do too much to these pockets but you certainly could if you wanted to you can add a lot more things um but i'm going to leave it at that what i am going to do next is add some of my um hand dyed ribbon and it looks like this this is what it looks like it's really colorful really fun and vibrant and i love using it I use this ribbon in my art tags and my art journals. And if you are interested in a tutorial, I will link it down below, but it's also listed in the, um, in my Instagram profile. It says um, hand dyed ribbon tutorial. And I don't post to my blog too much these days, but I do have a different version or a second version uh, to, to make this hand dyed ribbon on my blog if you're interested. But I will link the, um, the one that I use for this one in my, uh, in my video. So what I'm going to do next is just take a whole bunch and make a little hole here. Now there are already holes in this, right? So I could technically just tie the ribbon through here, but I'm not sure, you know, whoever I send it to, people collect these. So they store these in big binders, just like they would trading cards. So, you know, I'm not sure if the recipient is going to do that or not. So instead of taking up one of these holes that would go in the binder, I just make a um, I make a new hole here. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting in here, but I think I got it. Let's see. All right, perfect. So got this hole here. I'm gonna take a bit of my ribbon that I've already pre-cut, and it's right here. And I'm just gonna push it through that hole. and hopefully it will fit people can get really creative if you look up these pocket letters online or like on pinterest you can see that um um some people tie charms here you know they attach charms or some beaded kind of beaded items people are really creative so it's always fun to experiment with that I try not to make mine too heavy, so, um, you know, more than just what's already in the pockets. So for me, I think it's fine, good enough to just add some of this pretty ribbon. And then I just kind of tug on it, make sure it's all uh, pulled through and secure. And that just adds an extra pop of color here and I think it's so fun now I've received these you know because I used to trade in I used to take part in a community that swapped these or traded these and that was a lot of fun and um I I'll try to link some um photos to this um video of other ones that I've done because I've done a lot of art ones too so where it's actually art instead of just um you know like kit paper or things like that so there are so many different things that you can do with these so that's that now i've already decorated an envelope for this one and i just used again some gelato i i kind of made some clouds and then i added just a few stickers from the up up and away april kit this will then i'm going to add a little note here but then this will just fold right down and it will slip right into this envelope could maybe get that ribbon tied down a little secure more secure but just to try to make that knot a little less bulky but otherwise it is good to go I'm just gonna fold this down over it add some postage address it and it is good to go so Stay tuned because I will also let you know how you can enter to receive this one. Okay, so that's that's always fun. All right, the other thing that I shared on Sunday in that event was um, 
memory decks cards. So I like to make memory decks cards. I don't make them all the time, but I do sometimes make them. And uh, I have this box and you can use an old Rolodex. I happen to use a memory decks box as well as dies that are specifically for that um, to use in my die cutting machine. But our, I have seen tutorials online showing how you can just cut the cards by hand. Um, that's not what I'm doing because I, you know, I just, I don't, I have the dies. But if you do, oops, hold on one second. If you do decide that you're going to cut your own, um, Heidi Swap offers a punch just like this one that will punch the two little tabs down here that allows you to slip it into either your spinner or your box storage like this. So I'm, I'm sure that Heidi Swap isn't the only brand that makes it, but that's who makes the punch that I have. So this is a really great way to use up little bits and bobs from your kit. You know, you have all those little like one-off like leftover dies, die cuts, or little bits of paper stickers and this is just a really fun way to use them up so sometimes i add photos like i did here i added one of loki with some stickers i had a sticker that i just or maybe it was a die cut actually from the kit i just cut it up it says you make me smile i used some alpha stickers for his name i used um some dots to add some dimensions you can see that that's raised a little bit and i like to do that just to add a little bit of um you know like visual interest in this one, I raised uh, this die cut here. I added another die cut. These clouds are post-its that came in the kit that I just ran through my Xyron sticker maker and I stuck them down just to give a little background. I used um, some dots to give some dimension to these die cut flowers and I made a banner. This one, I used something from my stash as well as um, some of the enamel raindrops. Those were really fun. I added some dimension to this cloud with some dots, and then I added um, a die cut, a die cut um, hot air balloon. So that is just a quick little um, example of what else you can do with, you know, your kits. So I have that. Let's see. I showed you the tags, pocket letters. I think that's about all I have to show you today, but I hope that I've showed you enough that inspires you to get creative with your kits. I mean, right now, I know that Coco Daisy appreciates your business 100%, but more than that, they want to see their kits being used. I mean, it. I, I know that it brings the team a lot of joy to see what people create. So get those kits out. Don't be afraid to cut that paper up and just get creative with it. Sure, it's a planner kit or it's a memory keeping kit, but you know what? Right now, the whole point is to keep ourselves busy, keep ourselves happy and entertained, and you use what you have. And if you have your kit, use it, dig into it and have fun. I'd love to see what you create. Please share it and, and feel free to tag me because I'd love to see. Now, if you are interested in um, possibly winning either of these pocket letters, please comment below just a comment about how you plan to use your kit or how you've been using your kit. And I'm going to select two winners at random out of those comments on the YouTube video. Okay. So please make your comments on the YouTube video and um, I will pick two winners from there uh, this coming weekend. So this video is going to go live on Thursday. I will pick and announce two winners on Sunday. Okay. So thank you very much. Thank you for following along. Stay safe and take care of yourself. Bye.